From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. Neurobiofeedback and Italian restaurants. Hello, I'm Marco Montoya and welcome to Local Matters, featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Gladys Oliva. Family-owned restaurants are a great way to enjoy local and diverse cuisine. The Inland Empire hosts a variety of ethnic establishments ranging from Italian to Arabic. Reporter Lily Salzbito grabs a bite to learn more about which qualities help make for a good restaurant. For the community of San Bernardino, Nona's Italian restaurant offers its customers a comfortable eating experience while maintaining family traditions. My brother, he's actually like a prep. He's a prep and he does dishwashing at the same time. I work run the front, I take orders. So we run into each other, say if I need like a side salad or something, I'll go out the back, hey, let me get a side salad, he'll make it for me, get a prep, ring the bell and it's done. Because uh, Nona is actually in Italian, it means grandma. So we used to call our grandma Nana. So in, in Italian, it's actually called Nona, so it's actually grandma. That's where it comes from. The most specialty is say like the breaded chicken parm comes with the side of the mean the breaded chicken with marinara, the mozzarella cheese, and it comes with a side of pasta. It comes with your green beans sauteed with uh, sun-dried tomatoes and mushrooms. It's an excellent dish. Better, I mean, and we all work together. Sometimes we bump heads, but I mean, we have to work it out, so it's all family ordering. We take time, a lot, a lot of time in our sauce. Everything's made from scratch in the back. My dad's been an Italian chef for 30 years. Now that Nona's has welcomed me into the family, I thought I'd try their pasta. For Local Matters, I'm Lily Salzbido. Neurobiofeedback, or cognitive rehabilitation, is gaining recognition as a way to help how we deal with anxiety, ADD, ADHD, anger, and more. Reporter Richard Nelson attends a session held at California State University San Bernardino to learn how the college's program is offered to Inland Empire communities. ADHD, ADD, anger, anxiety, these are just a few of the most common problems that can be solved with neurofeedback. And here at CSUSB, neurofeedback is being used to retrain the brain. And actually neurofeedback was developed by Dr. Barry Sturman out at UCLA back in the 1970s. It was actually developed before science could identify what was really happening. And now that we better understand the neuroscience and the fact that we can change our brain, neurofeedback then becomes a much more viable option for a large number of people. So it's using a wireless headset or sometimes EEG sensors that are placed on the scalp in certain locations to help the person see how their brain is actually operating. So by doing that and by playing video games is what they look like, people are able to learn how to improve their attention, improve their focus, improve their memory. We also treat PTSD in veterans, which means we're able to dial down the anxiety response in individuals. And then these are lasting improvements. Neurofeedback then becomes a much more viable option for a large number of people. So usually in about 10 to 20 hours of neurofeedback training, we're able to monitor their progress, and then by the time they're completed, they're seeing improvements. Just like exercising to maintain your body, your brain needs exercise too. And here at CSUSB, we have the tools to do that. For Local Matters, I'm Richard Nelson. To keep updated on what Local Matters is doing, check out our Facebook or Instagram. Also visit our YouTube channel at Local Matters CSUSB to watch some of our other stories. I'm Marco Montoya. And I'm Gladys Oliva. Join us next time for more local stories that matter.